Hello everyone, this is Dr. Ahmed Ergin and today I am going to talk to you about some lunch ideas. Now in my diabetes clinic I get this question all the time, a healthy lunch idea. What can I eat for lunch that is healthy that's not going to spike my blood sugar? Here they are. So I'm going to give you some quick ideas for lunch because most of the time we don't really have a lot of time to make lunch, right? So we just want something quick. And the problem with something quick, we end up making the wrong decision because you end up stopping by in a fast food restaurant or something, grabbing something quick like a uh, Big Mac or something. Not a good idea, right? If you, especially if you have diabetes. But you can actually meal prep uh, or even choose things from the restaurants that are going to be healthy for you. Now, sometimes you don't really know what is in them, but if you know what you want, that will be a lot easier for you. So I'm going to talk about foods for lunch that are salads, some sautéed vegetables. We will talk about if you cannot go without bread or sandwich, we'll talk about some recipes about that too. Now, the first one is going to be uh, a salad. So the salad has spinach in it and chickpeas or kidney beans, whatever you prefer. Olive oil definitely needs to be there. Of course, that's gonna be a dressing. Apple cider vinegar, as you all know, well, most of you know, that is actually good for your diabetes or a lot of health benefits. So combining olive oil and apple cider vinegar is the best combination for salad dressing. Of course, salt and pepper, you need to add that on uh, to get some taste. If you cannot go without some crunchiness or bread, you can add some low carb croutons. In terms of the protein, you can always use either chicken, preferably chicken breast or, or salmon or tuna. You can add that on as well. Now you have to, you know, have some, of course, green in your salad. You can add some capers for some extra taste. And of course, you can choose a cheese of your choice. Now that's going to be a very low carb salad. And again, you know, a lot of people will tell me that, that they cannot eat salad. Well, I think they cannot eat salad because they most of the time don't know how to make the salad. You need to understand, do you like the crunch in your salad? Add some, maybe some seeds some nuts to it. Uh, if you like some fruit flavor, you can add some fruits to it. And we'll talk about these salads as well in a second. But I think you can make a salad that you will like. You just keep, need to keep trying and see what you like. Now, if you want to have a hot lunch uh, in your home, uh, you can definitely saute some uh, vegetables. And the best vegetables for these are tomatoes, but tomatoes generally come in later in, in, the, in the process of sauteing. But of course, when to, to saute something, you need to make sure that your pan is hot and you use some olive oil a little bit, not too much. And try to use not the extra virgin olive oil because that's not good for high heat process. Uh, with the sauteing and then of course you know if you are adding some uh, garlic and some onion to it it's gonna definitely make it taste better and uh, the red bell peppers go really well in that process and then your onions of course you can always add eggplants if you're a fan of eggplant uh, you need to add a little bit of a water maybe like a couple teaspoons of water and let it simmer and cook uh, for a while until you like the consistency and texture um, of course you can add tomatoes later uh, during the cooking process otherwise your tomatoes will be totally uh, mushed and turned into water but you can always if you want to have some texture with the tomatoes you can add that later and if you cannot go without meat uh, you can always add some ground turkey ground chicken or even ground red meat uh, low fat preferably if you're not if you don't mind the fat and if your cholesterol is not that bad you can add some uh, regular ground meat as well and then that will be a great quick lunch for you and it's going to be low carb now if your diabetes is not that bad and you're on certain medications or supplements and you're doing fairly well and you don't mind a little bit of a carb in your lunch i would suggest using some quinoa that is uh, very high in carb it has proteins and fiber and it's actually a great one of the greatest carbs that you can have uh, with diabetes now with this quinoa salad, we are going to use, uh, of course, greens. It's a salad, you have to have greens. You can use a kale, you can use spinach, whatever you prefer. In terms of uh, the salad, of course, you're gonna add tomatoes, you're gonna add pepper, you, want, you can add cucumber, you can add pineapple if you wanna have some good 
you know Hawaiian taste to it and of course uh, you can add some chicken to it and the seeds flax seed is great great very healthy even sunflower seeds or pumpkin seeds you can add on and I think it, it just blows your taste buds with that red onion is something that some people like and some people don't again these are or prefer to your preference chickpeas or kidney beans are always a good addition to a salad that are uh you know you know some people like love beans some people hate them but you know if you are into that i think chickpeas are a great addition to the salad as well you can always keep some canned chickpeas that is not really salted and stuff and i think that's that's an awesome idea and then i added uh, a walnut i'm a big fan of walnut and it's great omega-3 content i think that makes the salad that tops it very well so quinoa of course you need to cook it but cooking process is not really that uh, long and uh, here you go you have a great salad for your lunch now for those people who cannot go without bread of course if you have diabetes or if you're on a low carb diet i would suggest using some rye bread or pumpernickel but i'm gonna give you a very nice base to top your bread without creating a significant blood sugar spike uh, so I would say one of the best things you can do for that purpose is using salmon or tuna. Now salmon and tuna, obviously not a lot of people love fish. Uh, I'm a big fish fan. I mean, fish is, if you live on the fish, we'll probably live forever. <laughs> so uh, seriously, I mean, you, you gotta love fish. You, you, if you don't love it, force yourself, man. You gotta love fish. Fish is uh, one of the best things in the world. But anyways, don't start cursing, all right? It's all right. So I, I, <laughs> if you don't like it, it's fine some people just cannot eat it but i would say you know you can use some minced garlic uh, if you like some um onions finely chopped you can add that on uh, you can add some lemon uh, or lime juice to it. You can use some mayonnaise if it is too dry for you, especially tuna has uh, kind of low, very low fat. Salmon doesn't really need much, but mayonnaise, um, a healthy mayonnaise that you can pick can definitely be a good choice. And it, of course, you can mix it with some basil or parsley. I'm a big fan of Italian parsley, but you can, it's, it's up to you. Uh, and if you kind of mix it well and you can, this is your, this is going to be your base and then you can add on uh, some avocado and spinach. Uh, you can put the avocado and spinach first and then add on your base. I think that will be a better idea at the end, but that's gonna be a delicious lunch for you. And if you don't overeat, uh, if you just have a slice of bread with this topping, I think it's gonna fill you up pretty well and it's gonna keep you full until dinner. Now, of course, guys, you know, let me know how it goes for you. I try these recipes that, uh, you know, some of you will do great. Blood sugars will stay stable. Some of you will probably have some blood sugar spikes with this. But if you are having blood sugar spikes with these foods, uh, I'm telling you, you need something. You need some supplemental either food or supplement that can prevent these spikes. So again, I think these are great healthy ideas. Uh, let me know what you think. And if you like this video, give a thumbs up and we'll see you in the next one. All right, thank you for watching and I want you to be more informed and more educated. So to do that, go ahead and watch this next video right here.